Alright, hello guys. Today we're back with another video on Minecraft, but instead I'm going to be showing off my new redstone world. I, okay, for these I didn't, I did not make this and I did not make this, but I made that and I made the redstone inside this house, although I did not make the house. This is a brand new world, so I haven't added much things to it. I've really just been testing. And the way I got this and this house into this world is by the schematic mod. Yeah, for uh, Minecraft, and uh, yeah, I did not make this um, on the page. It didn't have any credits. Same for this house. All I know is it's a schematic, but I refurbished the house, removed the ground, and added some redstone in it, and made the lighting a lot better. This I kept, and then this, it's the exact same. I just thought how interesting these two things were. Here, let me show you right quick. So right here, you have a shulker, and you want to fill this up with raw food. So Let's go ahead and search for raw. And then, as you see, we take this and then we put it all in here. And then, once we're done with all of that, you want to hit this button. Or if it doesn't come flying to you, it'll go in the, this chest. But you want to put, see, 1k, uh, no, uncooked steak. Put it in there. And then, wait. Look, so it starts this complicated thing. And over here, it has a farm, it has a carpet duper for the fuel. And then over here is where the chest will be dispensed. Or where, um, yeah, all the stuff will be put down and into here to cook. So, as you see, it goes. Also, I'm somewhat laggy. I'll fix that a little bit. But, goes back up. And then, hey, wait, let me get over to this side. And then it spits them back out. Goes up here here and it goes through this little complicated machine i have no idea how it works all i know is that it works somehow and look you can see when it's melting you can see um uh you know if it's actually working fuel producing and the this is a fuel on and off if that if that light is on the fuel producing is on but if you turn it off it'll make it so you can't produce fuel or duplicate carpet pretty much and this tells you if it's currently producing fuel right now. And it produces fuel automatically. When a chest gets filled, as you see, it stops producing fuel. And then, this is, a, I guess, in that, and that is an indicator on when it's done. So, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so I went ahead and, you know, made it not as laggy, but it gets super laggy when I start recording. So, as you see, this works. I don't know how it works. I I don't even know who made it, but, um, yeah, we just gotta wait for that to get done. So, and as you see, I just think it's really satisfying how it does it. This is 128 furnaces, by the way, so this will cook anything instantly. And I think that's all of them. Oh, it's still smelting because there's still stuff in there. But, yeah, it extracts the stuff from the shulker through this system which collects, which is using a Minecraft hoppers, which collects stuff very, very fast. And it will distribute, distribute it into a 4x4, four four, and that's how it gets extracted into all these so fast, so. And then, as you see, when it gets in here, it'll pop them all out. I'll go back up here. Uh, as you see it's done or it's not done yet but it's cl very close to being done I think it's two hopper mine carts that go through each track yeah it looks like it's only two yet yeah. oh god wait that's a lot more than two holy moly that's a lot more than two holy they got a whole dispenser system I guess to fill out, but now when it's done, as you see, and the empty shulker boxes, uh, I have no idea where they go. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where all the empty shulker boxes are stored. But it's probably in here. Do you like in here? No. So if they get in there, that means they they have to be in the system somewhere then. I, mean, I do not oh that that breaks the shulker box then where does this go right 
So the shulker boxes, they go through here. Ah, they use the shulker boxes to put your food in. Ah, that's a nice way of re reusing stuff. As you see, they go back in there, and then that's where all your food is in there. If you want to collect your food since it isn't automatic, go ahead and extract shulker once it's done. And with that, it'll make a ding. Shulker will break. Go in here and get dispensed out. It'll go up into this chest. And you simply open it. As you see, this must be stuff from all different runs. So, yeah. And once you're done with that, you can simply use it. And it's really fun to use. This, uh... I just created I use mud here since it's not full block and they can still be on it so it's very easy very simple and everything gets collected inside of this hopper so yeah you can't use a normal hopper on a normal block because it wouldn't connect this is just a simpler design of that but it does not work as well and as you see it's very simple no input and fuel. Now this house I did not make credits to whoever made it, but I made the elevator system all by my own. So if we go in here, first floor. So you go up here. Oh, oh my God, bro. Here. Also, if you, you somehow get stuck and you somehow make it like this, you can easily bring it back down here. To and how this works, these will extend, stopping the elevator right. When you right when the platform gets here for a certain reason, so yeah. All right now here you can either choose to go down or back up. The reason why it stops one block above, on uh, wait, spectator mode, is so to activate we need to activate this. So that's how that works. And before it would be down at the bedrock or at the obsidian where you couldn't get it. So yeah that's why i made it like that and then it isn't the cleanest but there's like barely any showing redstone see then here if you want to go down as you see simply go back down bring it back up but if you want to go up you simply hit it again and you're all the way at the top if you want to go all the way to the bottom you hit this again it'll bring you all the way to the bottom but if this is all the way at the top and you're down here, you can't recover it. <laughs> but say you're just say you're accidentally over here and you somehow accidentally hit the button, but you can't get back up. The good thing is that you can just simply hit this button to bring it back down all the way to the bottom. It isn't complicated, as you see, it's simple. Uh, this controls the um the pistons that stop it all the redstone is in here very hidden very little very compact and then this is just what sends it and you know lets it go so yeah i thought i liked it a lot and um yeah so this is just how it looks at so far and um first four contraptions i'm gonna be adding more later like some from my previous world so this is a short video, so bye, see you in another one.